Hello, Inktober survivors. <laughs> Inktober is not over yet, so we're not technically survivors yet, but we're doing the thing. So it's been a little while since I've actually done an Inktober. I mean, here at least. I have been keeping up with it, kind of. Um, what I mean by that is I have skipped a couple of days here and there, but I always catch back up. Right now I'm catching up on day 22 to 25, and I did four in one freaking day. So there's going to be a lot cut out of this just because I don't want this to be a thousand years long. But anyways, the word for this day, day 22, was obviously pumpkin. And this is from Drawloween. I'm following Mab's Drawloween Club list this year. And I thought it'd be really cool just to do this cute little pumpkin girl. Um, like a little pumpkin girl with a cell phone. Like she's taking a selfie. She has a little Snapchat filter on. She's doing her thing with a little heart all above her head. <laughs> Um, I did add some color in this one as well, which I usually don't do, but I figured if I'm going to do the filter, I might as well do the filter correctly. So that is why I added the color. In the end, I am happy with how she turned out. I think she's really adorable. Um, it's a simpler one, but it's not the same straightforward blank expression that I've been doing a lot, which I'm trying not to do so much of anymore. So that's why I do like this one, and I do like that it's a pumpkin head because she's adorable, a little pumpkin head girl. I think this one turned out great. I'm extremely happy with it. Um, the cell phone's a little flat, but other than that, that's okay. So the next word happened to be monster. And even though my girl kind of turned out a little bit more demon than monster, I guess you could call a demon a monster technically. They could be considered a monster. Whatever. <laughs> so it's been a while since I've done like the double eye. I've actually only done the double eye maybe like two or three times, two times before. But I figured if there's any time to do a double eye, it's going to be on the day that the word is monster. Like, come on now, that's the best day to do it. So this is me once again trying to challenge myself and not do same straightforward blank expression um, girls that I've been doing a lot of lately. I've looked at my Instagram feed and I'm like, wow, they have no expression. They're nice. I like the drawings, but they have very little expression in their face. So I was trying to do something else. I went on Pinterest. I just looked up selfies or whatever I don't know what word I typed in I just looked up people and then I found someone that I thought fit the way I wanted to draw someone and then I just used her as a reference to guide the way the face shape is going to be because otherwise she would look like an actual monster because I there's no way I'd be able to do this facial expression from memory only and try to figure it out myself so I am using references for majority of my ink poster ink poster <laughs> inktober posts because if I don't, I end up doing really cartoony baby face people, which I love. I love that style. But for Inktober, I'm trying to like stick to a theme of the way they all look together. If you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Anyways, the word after that, um, I believe this one was Hunter Moon. I didn't particularly care for that word, so I decided to just do whatever I wanted to do that day. And for this one, I've been playing this game, um, Rusty Lake. It's like a series of escape games. I've been playing it a lot recently, and that is where this inspiration came from. There's these like central theme of these black boxes, there's black boxes, there's white boxes, but you know, there's the central theme of these boxes that hold memories or I think they hold memories. I don't know. The game is really confusing. I love it though. It's so much fun. It's like, it's like, um, looksy where it's really confusing, but you just love it. That's kind of what this is like. It's really confusing, but I just, I love to play it. <laughs> so that's where the inspiration for this came from because I am like almost done with the whole series and I'm having a lot of fun playing it. And this is just like a kind of homage to this, a little nod to it, actually a little nod to the Rusty Lake series. If you don't know what it is, you need to look it up and you need to play them because they are really fun. Um, I play them in the app store, the, the like Google app store or whatever, play store, the play store, the Samsung play store. Is that what it is? I don't know, whatever the play store. That's why I found that game <laughs> and it's really fun. So you need to look it up and you need to play it. So this is my, what day was this? I can't even remember. This was day 24. So this was day 24 and the word was Hunter Moon, but I decided to just do whatever I wanted to do instead of Hunter Moon and I ended up with this nod to the Rusty Lake game. Rusty Lake game, put me in your story. <laughs> Next word was, um, gosh, what was this one? Oh, Dark Forest. 
I didn't want to do a dark forest either so I just kind of did whatever I wanted to do again and for this one since I had so much fun doing the pumpkin girl that was like a snapchat filter I decided to try just doing a regular one that's a snapchat filter and I did the little alien one I mean technically I could say this goes with dark forest because aliens do abduct you in dark forests <laughs> if I'm kind of pushing it I can say that but anyways okay I didn't follow the prompt whatever for this one, I was trying once again to not do my same straight on blank expression type of girl. So I was trying to do like a different view, a different angle. Her head is up a little bit. I think I've been doing really good this Inktober with not doing straight on ones. But last year, that was kind of my thing to do straight on faces. You know, that was like the whole theme of it. Floating heads, straight on faces. But this time, I'm trying something different. Anyways, I'm having a good time with these. Um, Inktober is going well. I'm a little bit behind, but I'll catch back up. So, um, is all happy Inktober. You guys can go to my Insta if you want to see all the other Inktober days that I did that I didn't post here. Okay, bye.